Welcome to part four of the Computer Science Innovators Quiz. We're actually back on the design screen. We're going to add a couple things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a horizontal arrangement. It should go underneath uh, the, the question image and question label. And we want to make sure the width is all the way across, so we're going to fill the parent. And within that, we are going to first add a text box component, which should be under hmm, media. Is it under the user interface? Yes, it is in the user interface. Got our text box in there. Uh, we want to add a new button. And well, we'll put next in there as well. Or not. Hold off. Hold off on that for one second. We'll add a new button. Run our horizontal uh, horizontal arrangement, and we're going to rename this one the answer button. And the text is going to be. Enter. And next to this, we want to have the next button. So we're pulling those two into the horizontal arrangement. Uh, and the last thing is we're going to add another label. We're going to put it under, and we're going to call it answer label. And just just so we know, this is where the result. Um, it's a little small actually, so why don't we actually make the font 20 and we'll do the same thing for our question label. We'll make the font 20 for that as well. Okay, so this is what it should look like. I'm going over to the box screen now to finish out some coding. And so uh, we now need a third list, and this is going to be our answer list. It's actually going to be very close to our image list, so I'm actually just going to duplicate this in the interest of time. And I'm going to put in this as the answer list. And so we know that the answer to the first one is, in fact, Alan Turing. Put a space there. Second one, we know the answer is actually hidden figures. And the third one is Grace Hopper. Okay. Uh, so now that we've got that, we have to uh, program our new button, the answer button. So when the answer button is clicked, here, let's put it down here a little further. Uh, when the answer button is clicked, we have to do a couple things. One is we have to check uh, to see if it's correct. So we're actually going to use our if then. We're going to actually hit the rotary. We're going to add an else. So if then else. So it's going to check number one here. We've got the we got to get the answer. Oh, we got to go to our text box now. Actually, so if we get the answer text. Okay, so text box dot text here. And if the oh, you know what? We actually have to do something before that. We have to put the equals. So if the answer text dot text in this case the text box one, we should have renamed it. See, so yeah, that's why we renamed things because now stuff's hard to find. So if this is equal to the answer, so let's see here, we got to select another item from the list. And it's going to be our answer list. So variables, we'll get it from our answer list. And of course, once again, it's got to be set up next to the index. So let's just grab the index. We'll get that set up. Um, but you know what? There's one other thing we can do that's going to help. It's going to help the people who are taking our quiz here. It's going to make them a lot happier. Is that we can set everything to uppercase so that we're not messed up by uppercase, lowercase. So underneath um, the text here, we'll just pull out an uppercase block. In fact, let's find another, oh, we don't need all of that. We do need the uppercase block. And we can make sure that if it's equal to all this stuff. So that way, it's just comparing uppercase versus uppercase. All right, we got that. That's a little hack. It's going to make this a lot better of a quiz for our, our users. The last thing we need to do. If it is equal, then we need to set the our new label, which is the answer label. We've got to set the answer label text to something cool. Well, how about you got it? Real simple. Or oh, if they didn't, we gotta set the answer label test to it's out of here. What should we set the answer label text to? Maybe 
Nah, with that. No. All right. Get your app set up. Test it. Make sure that it works. Good luck to you.